Hey kids! Today we are going to look at changes in an environment and the effects that are caused by those changes. By the end of this, you should be able to answer the following questions. Number one, what are some changes that occur that can have a major impact on the environment? Number two, what is the difference between a short-term and a long-term effect on an environment? And number three, are all effects negative when it comes to changes in an environment? Why or why not? And be able to give an example. So today we are going to look at three different scenarios and walk through what changed and how it has affected and is still affecting the environment around it. Remember that a short-term effect is an effect that happens immediately after the change. And a long-term effect happens as a result of the change but can take time to develop. These can take years to be seen in the environment. So scenario one deals with our oceans. The change came about when humans invented plastic and it started making its way into the ocean. Have you ever heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? It is also described as the Pacific Trash Vortex, which I think is the better name because it's not just one giant pile, but trillions of pieces of trash caught in a gyre in the central North Pacific Ocean. A gyre is a large circular current that threads through the world's oceans, and this is where the plastic gets caught. The patch is defined as an area in which the mass of plastic debris in the upper water column is significantly higher than average. Than average? That's kind of sad. So how has this change affected the ocean environment? Unlike organic debris, which biodegrades, plastic disintegrates, but never actually breaks down It fully. means organisms as that it disintegrate end up plastic ingesting this plastic. ultimately becomes small enough to be ingested by aquatic organisms. What does that mean? It means organisms in that environment end up ingesting this plastic. A short-term or immediate effect can be found in the albatross population. Of the 1.5 million lazen albatrosses that inhabit the area, nearly all have plastic in their digestive systems. Approximately one-third of their chicks die, and many of those deaths are due to being fed plastic from their parents. The long-term effects are also starting to show as these toxin-containing plastic pieces are also eaten by jellyfish, which are then eaten by larger fish. These toxins are now introduced to a much larger part of the aquatic food web and start to spread out and affect much more than just the environment closest to the garbage. Scenario two. Scenario two finds us lakeside, but instead of trash, the change is the rising temperature that is disrupting the delicate balance. Lake Tanganyika is the world's second largest freshwater lake and is home to many different organisms. Water temperatures in Lake Tanganyika have warmed 0.1 degrees Celsius per decade, or 1 degree Celsius over the past 100 years. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it is affecting the ecological stability of the lake, and it has already resulted in a 20% reduction in biological productivity in the lake. Each different species has a certain temperature range they need to survive. And as you can see, even one degree can make a big difference. So the short-term effects of the temperature change is an immediate dip in reproduction, which in the long term could lead to less biodiversity overall in the lake. Another perspective would be to think about the many people that depend on the fish in this lake for survival. So another long-term effect would be the loss of jobs and perhaps even lack of food if the lake continues to warm. But not all changes are bad. Sometimes there's a silver lining to a swirling 120 mile per hour cloud of wind. That's right, hurricanes can be helpful. What? A hurricane can be very devastating to a developed area and humans have been battling them for centuries. But if you look at undeveloped areas, they can actually help clean out the clutter. Hurricanes can help wipe out invading trees that have pushed aside native ones. Destruction from these storms create open space in the forest canopy, letting in sunlight and allowing wildflowers and other gap species to flourish. It's really amazing how everything can be connected. It's important to consider short and long-term effects in general because what may seem like an amazing idea right now might not be worth it in the future. Food for thought, students.